Hi everyone, my name is Babu Sharma and uh, uh, this is a session, a session for logical reasoning. In this session, we will discuss about uh, top view, I mean different views, top view, front view, side view and about the 3D uh, figures also we will discuss this session. So, uh, first let us discuss about uh, the 3 that what is top view, front view and side view. So, what is front view? Front view of an object. Front view of an object shows the width and height dimensions. Horizontal plane of the projection is the plane onto which the top view of the multi view drawing is projected. That is about front view. Top view. Top view of an object shows the width and depth dimensions. That is top view. Uh, so, a front view and top view. Side view. In side view, you can see the side view of an object. I am repeating again, that front view of an object that shows the width and height dimensions. Horizontal plane of the projection is the plane onto which the top view of the multi view drawing is projected. Top view of an object uh, basically it shows that the width and depth dimension. You see, in a rectangular uh, figure we have uh, length, breadth and height. So, uh, we can uh, find the width and depth, the top view and front view uh, uh, that shows width and height dimensions. For different objects, we have different uh, front view, side view and uh, top view. For example, if suppose we are having the let's say a cube, a cube. So that cube, for that cube, we can find different positions in horizontal, vertical, and slanted position. So we can just find the top view of your, of of that cube. Uh, suppose if one person is uh, watching that cube from the top. So he can only see the top part of that view. Friendship. Here it is. Suppose in these two figures, uh, let's say that's the uh, first figure, that is second one. Uh, in this figure, that is the front view, I mean front side, that is the side, this is top. So obviously, this represents the front view, that is side view, this side view, this is front view, one part. Okay, so one part means this, this, this. This is top. So a person that is watching from the top, he can see only these three blocks. He can see only that block and these two other blocks from the top part. Similarly, from the side, he can only he or she can only see that two faces from the side part. Let the person be standing there. So he can only see this. These two blocks. Where if a person is standing here, 
different different you can only see these three blocks these four blocks that is the front view side view and if a person is on the top like here you can only see these three blocks so that is the top view similarly in the second figure uh, we can see that we are having one two three four four blocks four blocks so from the side uh, from the side only one two and these three three blocks are visible Okay, then the front view. In the front, this is top and this is front. From front only these three blocks. From the top again, uh, total three blocks. A person can see. That is about top view. Front view, top view, and side view. For three-dimensional object, uh, one can see front view, side view, and top view. For different objects, uh, different function. Okay. Now, how to draw top view, front view, and side view of an object? Suppose I have to draw the front, top, left, and right view of a given solid object without scaling them. Means like triangle. How? So how I can start? And I am getting no idea of how the the given solid object is break into top, left, right, and front view. So, what are the steps? Basically, when you have an object to draw, you must follow simple rules to explain your drawing for anyone to understand it easily. Okay. So, we have two types of examples that also I will explain you. Uh, first, we need to just look at the object. Means whatever object uh, having in front of me, then the face uh, you have to see is the front view or uh, or the face of the object uh, which I am uh, seeing. That is front view. And if you uh, move your position to the left side, again what you see is the left view. So that is if I am moving to the right side, that is the right. That is top view. Front view, and uh, suppose uh, that we have discussed so far that if uh, one person is uh, watching from the front, it is front view. The position of an object from the front side that will represent front view. Okay, now I will explain you the, uh, the different views of a dice. Okay, a dice can be in three positions.
then I'm sharing one um, that all the three positions of a dice. A dice can have uh, a dice can have six positions, six numbers: one, two, three, four, five. So if the three positions are given, this from the front side, uh, one can see three numbers. I mean number three on the uh, uh, position of the ties, and from the side it is visible as one. In the top it is visible as two. Means that the From the top, it is uh, two. One can see two. From the side, from the front, it is going three. And the side, let's say here, is showing one. Like this position. So this is the perfect position of a three. I mean, if you are having a front side and top view, uh, or if we are having the front side and copy of an object, we can clearly draw the 3D image or 3D view of an object. Same here in case of any other uh, stuff, like uh, like in the case of uh, a table, okay, a nut. Or something solid, a solid figure. Okay, now let us discuss about the next part orthographic projection. Orthographic projection is also related to 3D. Orthographic projection is a means of representing three dimensional objects in. Two dimension. That is about orthographic projection. It is a form of uh, parallel projection in which all the projection lines are orthogonal to the projection plane, resulting in every plane of the scene appearing in, uh, in uh, some transformation on the viewing surface. If suppose any object is given, you can draw the front, top, and side view. Okay. On the basis of uh, that theory part, let us try to discuss some problems. Suppose uh, that three D figure is given. Uh, the three D figure shows the view of an object. Identify the correct view in the direction of the arrow. From among which the answer figures. So that figure is given. On the basis of that, we have to identify the correct view. And four options are there: first, second, third, and fourth. Now, almost all the options are similar, but having some minor difference. If we can, uh, we can identify the correct one, and we can eliminate the incorrect option. So from the top side, from this side, uh, one can see this part. One can see this part, and suppose uh, if a person is at this position, he is standing there. He can see this part, this part, this part clearly. This top part, this part. But here you can see that uh, 
we are having two uh, two partitions. One here, one here. One partition is there. One partition is there. Second option can't be correct. Second option can't be correct. Now we can check the other options if it is working or not. Because it is obvious that in the top side this partition is there. So obviously that partition is this partition. I mean that line that line represents this partition. So option second cannot be correct because in the top part having no partition. Now it is between first, third and fourth. Now here uh, here one can see that that no line is there. In this part no line is there. And in option term, we are having one straight line. This position. So we can eliminate this part as well. Second and third are not correct. Now let's move to the uh, next one. We are still having two options, one and two. Now what is the difference between option one and uh, Almost all are similar, both the are similar, but uh, Here one can see that that part we are here uh, here a straight line is there in option number four one straight line is there and that is divided into two partitions this part is divided into two partitions one is this and second is there that is the complete no uh, partition is there. Now you can see that no partition is there. In this part, no partition is there. No partition. So that's why option 1 is correct. Because in this part, no partition is there. No straight line is there. That's why option 4 is not correct. Option 1 is correct. So if a person is at the front side, he can only see this side, this top, and that side. So if we know, so if we can identify front view, top view, and side view easily, we can eliminate the incorrect option very easily for this type of question. Let me just upload the next question over there. Next question is similar to the first one. It's like It says the 3D figure shows the view of an object. Identify the correct view in the direction of the arrow from among these the answer figures. Now let the person react this position. This position. He is watching from here. Okay, in the, uh, in the direction part. This direction. In this arrow part. So he can only see this part, this top part. This part, that's it. Now, here, here it is a straight line, but here we don't have any line. Here we don't have any partition. Here we don't have any partition, but here it is showing one partition. That means this part is not correct. Option one is not correct because in the bottom part. It is showing one partition which is not correct. Now, just we can check the other options by using this. Now, let us check option second, third, and fourth. What is the difference between option second and uh, other option? Okay, here it is showing one line. Here it is showing one partition. 
one partition here, but no partition is in this pipe. No straight line, no partition. That's why option second is also incorrect. First and second are incorrect. Still, we are having two options: option third and option fourth. In option third, if we can check, uh, now we have to differentiate between option third and option fourth. So here we are not having any partition, but in option third, it is showing one partition over here. In between this rectangular section, in this rectangular section, one partition is shown, but here no partition. That's why. Option third is also not. Option four is the correct. <coughs> Let us discuss one more problem. So here we can discuss few more problems. Uh, let's say the first one. The 3D problem figure shows a view of an object identified the correct front view from among the given among the answer figures look in the direction of an arrow. Again the same condition. If a person is standing there, so he or she can see well, this part, this front part, this part, this part. Okay. Now, what is the difference between option one and option two? Now, here this square diagram is attached to this lower part, but here in the figure it is clearly uh, you can see that this that this part is having uh, at some distance from that from that border part from that end part of border. Part. So that means option second can't be correct. And option third and fourth. They are not correct because it shows the square. Third and fourth, they are showing the square. That's why they are not. This option was correct. Similarly, we can do the second one. Uh, we will have to just work according to that arrow. What is given in the arrow, we just need to follow that. A person is there, you can see this front side, that part from the this right, and here having a, uh, a square with diagonal. So these two, um, these three can't be correct, these three option are incorrect because they are not showing that diagonal. That diagonal line is there. In option top. Similarly, the next one. If a person is here, he can only see this front part. That front part. Now, uh, what is the difference between option? Third, fourth, first. It is open from this part. Open from this part. So obviously this part is not visible. But one can't see. It is open from this part.
almost all the options are similar but uh, option 1 and option third are uh, third are most like third option the correct first is is a single part this part is a single part it represents option 3 now the next part fourth one here in this diagram if a person is at this position he or she can see this front part this part and that top part i mean that front part only he can see On the basis of that, we can just eliminate option one and option third because it is starting at the bottom part. Second option is the correct. 